My name is Jean Dixon and I'm a member and volunteer at the Scottish Genealogy Society and today I'm talking about the resources that we have both in-house and online. Um, the Genealogy Society started in 1953 and we're based in quite a quirky building in the old town near Edinburgh Castle and kind of our entrance is marked on the photo as you can see going past some very old houses. We had our coat of arms granted in 1978. Um, in our society we have huge range of family histories which I will talk about later. We have monumental inscriptions, the largest range in Scotland and that's the uh, graveyard inscriptions that are on the cemetery gravestones. Not every family had one. We have OPR microfilms. Now these are the films of the old parish registers that the Kirk had going up to 1855, and that covers the whole of Scotland. We have thousands of books covering all various subjects and counties. We have Find My Past, Ancestry, and the British Newspaper Archive on our computers for members and visitors to use. We have monthly meetings and Saturday morning classes in normal times, although we've just had a class on Zoom. And we have different databases. Some of these were made up from a Cardex system. So we have cross-border marriages and another couple that actually you can find these online in Find My Past, if you remember there. On to things that are online, which you can then use. We have Facebook. We have almost 12,000 followers on Facebook. Um, and I try to put up entries several a week. And in fact, during lockdown, when I wasn't doing much else, several a day. Try to have a varied range to cover everybody's interests. So here are some of the ones we had. So fireworks, blazes and no man's land, which is Govan Hill in Glasgow. Um, we had the Edinburgh Gazette, which had just been published by Find My Past a couple of weeks ago. One about traveller families on the West Coast, which had an amazing old photo with it. Um, and Highland and Island emigration records. Just a varied range. If you have queries, you could always message and ask. I will not research whole family for you, but I would give you a hint of where to look next or somebody might actually ask, just they can't see a book they want to buy and I will give them the link directly or to put them in touch with the person who could tell them about it. Um, on our website, we have a downloads tab and the first thing on it is the black book. Now, the black book is our holdings collection to do with death. So it's the old parish death registers, lists of monumental inscriptions, burials, mort cloth records because these sometimes the hire of a mort cloth is the only record you have of a burial um, and this gives you a list of what we have and what is available so that you can check you may want to buy a book of monumental inscriptions you can check what it's covering so this sample here is actually bathgate the parish of bathgate and showing that all the things that we have so that, that starts 1698 um, some of them are now in West Lothian, Volume 2, so they're in with different CDs. Um, one's a list of lair owners, and some are actually mortality death records. So rather than um, a monumental inscription, this just is a death record, which can be really handy if your family could not afford a gravestone. The other thing we have in downloads, which is incredibly useful, are the indexes to our journals, the Scottish Genealogist. And the indexes cover the period 1953 to 2014. This downloads as a PDF. You can then search for the family name you're wanting or the article you think you're going to find there. And then, should you wish, you can then go onto our online shop and order that journal, which you can download. So that is a really handy one to have. 
Family histories, I was talking about them being stored, but this is our online index to them. So there's two, over two and a half thousand separate files. What we have online is a A to Z of the different families. And it's just a list to see if it's your family you're looking for. So in the first box we have here, you can see there's the Brebner family, your ABD, which is Aberdeen, Canada and USA, starting at 1776. And it's 16 pages of this family. So it says it's a written pedigree. And then I looked at the P section where you've peaked family from Lanarkshire, 18 pages. It says mainly extracts from OPRs because a lot of people were doing this research years ago before you could actually find things online. Um, there's another peat we have where it says see Little John and Murray, so they might be names in your family. And there's Peaty from Fife, it's a tree, it's four pages. You can, there's a link at the top to get in touch with us if it's just, some of these are just sheets of paper and envelope that we have with people's jottings or a little tree. Some are massive trees in tubes and boxes. It tells you at the top what to get in touch with us about. And we make a small charge to copy. We obviously can't copy a whole box of things, I don't think. And we would email these out to you. And so that works well. We then have our online shop, which of course, unless you're in Edinburgh, that's the one you're using all the time. It tends to highlight new publications, and even though it's been locked down, we have published a new monumental inscription once where one of our volunteers was editing and had put together the book ready to do during lockdown. We sell, um, some of these are books, some are CDs. We sell a lot of poor registers that we publish ourselves. Um, many other books and these are posted out at the moment if you ordered somebody's going in once or twice a week so you, they're not posted out instantly and things like this yellow family record which if you want to keep a paper copy of your tree can be very very useful to have. Moving on now to um, our resources section um, we have, um, this is our front page of our website, I'm going to resources where we have a different selection here. Try and have um, links that are slightly different, they may not be the ones everybody knows. Um, there's things that the two people who've put this together had interest in sometimes. If I went into the military one, um, you get a big range of army lists. Obviously we have a lot quite a bit to do with Edinburgh since we're Edinburgh based. And if I take you into this one, Scotland's War, which is the First World War, this takes you to a website where you can choose the region you want. If I say wanted Clack Manninshire, I can pop in here, it will give me, I can go in at the fighting front, I can go in at all sorts of different sections to find out about it. Going back to resources, I may choose trades and professions. And this will give me a trade index for the book trade, Scottish mining website, um, writers to the signet. So a massive range of different sections that you could use and then pop back and see what else is there. We do try to keep these up to date as much as possible. Right, moving on to our membership page. What I've shown there are several editions of the Scottish Genealogist. You receive a quarterly journal covering things such as um, the June one, the latest was the Otto family, Greyfriars Kirkyard, um, atrocious murder and the Hepburns of Walton. Again, you can share the index to see which ones you would like in a back me membership. Um, you get discount on all the books published by us and you can visit as often as you like once we're open and maybe even volunteer. We're always looking for volunteers to help with people coming in and to transcribe things that we're working on at that time.
So finally, um, follow us on Facebook, check us out on the website and try out these different tabs on it. Join us, come and join the society, please. It's, otherwise, all our societies like ours just can't keep going unless we've members. And visit us. Now to add to that one, we are hopefully opening by the end of September, as with everywhere else, it will be by appointment um, and things will be different for some time. But I do hope we get back to normal soon. Um, sorry about the noise, if you can hear it, because it started raining very heavily in Edinburgh. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>